Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Prakar and you are watching Tech Now. Do subscribe to my channel and press the notification icon below. My earlier video was a demonstration of magic mirror whereas this video is a tutorial about how to build the hardware portion of magic mirror that is assembling the mirror glass frame monitor screen and raspberry pi. Step 1 components required monitor screen with hdmi port frame assembly one way mirror glass mirror screws l clamps wall clip hdmi cable electrical wire and tape raspberry pi with fan and heat sink PIR sensor for Raspberry Pi and the soldering rod. Step 2. Disassemble your monitor. The first thing we need to do is open your monitor which you want to use for the magic mirror. There are many videos available on YouTube that will help you with it. But be cautious, this may void the warranty of your monitor or may also cause damage to the screen. It is up to your discretion. Disassemble the monitor and gently seal the sides of the screen using electrical tape. I did not want to use power cable with this screen so I soldered the power output. Now measure the width and height of the screen and note down this value. In my case x is equal to 11.4 inches and y is equal to 19.4 inches. Step 3. Designing the frame assembly. Next we need to design the frame for our mirror. I am using custom made frame using wood as the material of construction. Keep in mind that above noted x and y dimensions of the screen are the exact dimensions. To fit the screen inside the frame, round it off to the next value. Considering my allowance as 0.1 inches, my internal frame dimensions should be 11.5 inches whereas y dash is equal to 19.5 inches. Now we have to prepare the frame that will have internal dimensions as 11.5 inches and 19.5 inches. The thickness of the frame I used is 0.75 inches and its depth is 1.75 inches. Here I have used 4 flattened logs, 2 for the top and 2 for the sides. Based on the new x dash and y dash dimension, deduce the dimension of the top and side flatten logs. Keep the length of top and bottom log same as x dash dimension, that is 11.5 inches, whereas the length of the side logs will be greater than y dash to achieve a rectangular frame. Length of side logs will be equal to y dash plus twice the thickness, that is 0.75 inches. Keep in mind that internal dimensions that is x dash and y dash are of utmost importance. I have attached an excel sheet in the comments below. You can deduce the dimensions from the sheet. You just have to enter the exact dimensions of the screen, the frame log thickness and depth. Allowances between frame and the screen and the frame and the mirror glass along with the glass thickness. Finally. Assemble the top, bottom and side logs to prepare a rectangular frame as shown. I have used two horizontal screws at each corner to hold the frame logs together. Also note that the top face of the frame on which your mirror glass will be fixed should have a parallelism less than 1-2 to 2 mm otherwise the glass might break. Mark the up down top and bottom face on the frame. Step 4. Deciding the glass dimensions. So as of now we have our frame and monitor screen ready. Next we need to decide the dimensions of the mirror glass that we are going to use. There is no hard and fast rule to consider the size of mirror glass however my intent was that the frame should not be visible from the sides. Hence I added 4.5 inches and 5.5 inches to x and y dash dimensions respectively. So the dimensions of the mirror glass comes out to be xm dash is equal to 16 inches and ym dash is equal to 25 inches. 
The corners must be blunt to avoid any sharp edges. Step 5. Deciding the position of holes to be drilled on the mirror glass. Firstly, we need to mark the points on the mirror glass for drilling. We will place the mirror on the frame and mark the points on the mirror. Keep in mind that the mark points should be in the center of the frame assembly and only on the side locks of the frame. Drill mark points on the mirror. Step 6. Deciding on the position of the support clips for the screen. As of now we have the mirror glass and the frame ready. Now we need some sort of support to hold the screen in position. Position the screen on the glass and place the frame over it gently. Mark the position of the L clips on the back side of the frame. In my case, I have used 3 clips. Pick up the frame and fasten the L clips on it. Step 7. Position holes on the frame. We would be at risk of breaking the screen or the mirror glass if any unnecessary stress are induced while assembling the mirror glass with the frame with the screen in between. To avoid it, prepare 4 number of holes in the frame in position with the holes done earlier on the mirror glass. Also prepare 4 number of holes on the back side of the frame to adjust the gap between wall and frame. Drill holes for wires or power switch if required. Step 8. Assemble the hanger clip on the frame. At last, place the hanger clip on the back face of the frame at the center. Step 9. Assemble monitor screen with frame. Now gently position the screen on frame. The screen would now rest on the support clips. Seal the sides and edges with electrical tape. Wipe the dirt off the screen gently. Locate the position of holes on the frame. Step 10. Assemble the glass on the frame. Gently place the mirror glass on frame and use mirror screws to fasten the mirror glass with the frame. This step may break your glass so perform it gently. Now, turn your assembly and seal the gaps between the frame and the mirror to block dirt. Step 11. Place your Raspberry Pi. Set up your Raspberry Pi with a fresh copy of Raspbian. If you don't know how to do that, watch my earlier video of how to set up Raspberry Pi the easiest way possible. I have also added a fan and a heatsink to avoid overheating of Pi. Learn how to do it in my earlier video. I have also collected PIR sensor as shown. I would be describing how to calibrate the PIR sensor in my next video. Now, place your Raspberry Pi and USB power charger inside the frame suitably. Step 12. Connect cables. Arrange the cables as per requirement. Solder your power switch and fix it. Make the electrical connections for Pi and screen. Do recheck the wiring before plugging them into power source to avoid any electrical accident. Connect your Pi with the screen and power source. Connect your mirror to the power switch if required. Step 13. Adjust the gap screws. 
adjust the height of the screws to ensure uniform gap between the frame and the wall. So our hardware of the frameless magic mirror is complete. My next video would be about learning how to install magic mirror software and how to configure various modules required for the mirror. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do subscribe and press the notification icon below.